well, maybe the day after Valentine's Day, but this right here is a love story between a school bus diver, excuse me, a school bus driver and her bus, and a story of how an old bus got a new life. 7 News' Mike Randall tells us more. She tried a few jobs before landing behind the wheel of a school bus. I've waitressed, I've made pizzas, I've cooked, I've worked at Super Duper, I worked at McDonald's, I babysat. For 29 years, Ruth Ann Courtney has been driving for West Valley Central Schools. I don't like my job, I love my job. She's now driving second generations. So I have kids on my bus now, I have three of them that their dad used to ride my bus. For six years, she was driving bus 88. I'm an even number person, 88's my lucky number. My oldest daughter, Michelle, was born on March 8th. Ruth Ann and bus 88 shared a lot of miles together. I oh, absolutely just loved bus 88. But then last year, 88 was decommissioned. I shed some tears because I really didn't want to you know, see that bus leave. Her favorite bus was sold to a used bus company downstate. This story has a happy ending because Ruth Ann's old bus is on a new adventure. It was purchased by a lovely English couple with big plans. Hi, my name's Steve and this is my wife Joanne. Hi. We thought we'd introduce ourselves. Uh, we did something a bit crazy. Steve and Joanne Rowe of England are going to transform 88 into a motor home. And at the moment, she's parked outside our house. West Valley School Tech Coordinator Brian Hansen is keeping tabs on the Rose progress. They've ripped out all the seats. Um, they asked me if we still had pencils in West Valley because they found a bunch of pencils and wonder why we, how we could still possibly have pencils. Meanwhile, Ruth Ann Courtney is happy for her old bus. Just amazed that all the uh, miles that that bus and I put on and all the kids that went through 88 and now she's retired and she's going to be a motor home in England. And she's still bonding with her new 38 foot friend, number 106. Um, this seat's a little nicer than the other one. Ruth Ann plans to get in touch with the Rose so she can send them some smiley face magnets. And I'd also like all the lunch money back that they found in the seats. <laughs> Mike Randall, 7 News, West Valley.